Alright, what's up my friends from around the globe? I'm having a super fantastic day. Pretty much today we're taking a look at another Python project. We're going to be having a quick glance at creating the Guess the Number game in Python. Pretty much how this game works is you get six guesses, or you could theoretically change that to whatever you like, and you get to guess a number from one to a hundred. Once again, you could theoretically change that to whatever you like. And we're going to be writing that in Python. So we're going to be creating a computer game that is unfortunately not graphical, however, is reasonably entertaining. So, the first thing we want to do is, I always love making a comment, so we do this by using the hash key, which does have a technical name, but I forgot it, and writing guess the number game. I always just like doing that. Following that, we want to import the random module, because the random module will be useful to us in this case, as it is good for generating random numbers, which is what we need. So we've got import random here. And next, we need to find some variables. Guesses equals six. That's how many guesses we want the person to have. And following that, we also want to set something known as the actual number. So number equals random dot rand int brackets one through 100, or whatever two numbers you would like. So that is the min, and that is the maximum. All right. Following that, I th believe that is all we need for there. Now we just need to do a while loop that will continue the program running. Oh, my bad, I forgot one more thing. We need to do a variable called win. So win equals false at the moment, because we have not won the game yet. So while guesses is greater than zero, so while we still have more than one guess, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, uh, what, are we, what are we gonna do? We're gonna have the guess, the variable guess, we're creating a new variable, equals in integer input, and you've got to make sure it looks like that, integer input, and we want to write inside here, guess. Okay, nice. Now, if guess is greater than number, what we want to do is we want to tell the player that they guess, that he or she guess too high. So then we want to do print, your guess was too high. You have, you have, comma, and then we have guesses, comma, remaining. So this will also show them how many guesses they have left. Following that, we have else if, which can be con contracted to elif in Python. Elif guess is less than the number, so if you guess was too low, we're just gonna copy paste this real quick. Oopsie doodles, there we go, print. Oh yeah, that's good formatting. Oh, actually, no, I prefer that. Um, there we are. Elif guess is less, is less than number. Print your guess was too low. You have X amount of guesses remaining. And then following that, we have else. Else print. Congrats. You guessed the correct not You guessed the correct number. And won the game. So that's what happens when you win. Pretty much we can use else because if it's not less than, if it's not greater than or it's not less than, we know that it definitely is right on the spot there. And then following that, we also need to write win equals true. And at the end of this loop, regardless of what happens there in if, il, if, else, we need to write that guesses minus equals one to mean we use that one guess in that loop. At the end of the loop, what we want to do is we want to write afterwards if win equals false, print onto the screen, sorry, you didn't guess the number, full stop, and then write, the number was, the number, the number was, comma, number. So, let's give this a quick run, let's just run through it first. Firstly, we're going to import the random module, which allows us to call random functions that allow for randomness, or at least pseudo randomness, which is reasonably close. Guesses equals six, that's pre that's uh, determined by the programmer. Number equals random or random, one for 100, once again, determined by the programmer. And whether we've won equals false. <clears throat> while guesses is greater than zero, so while we still have guesses remaining, the guess equals an input of whatever the user puts, and that's just our prompt. If guess is greater than the number, so if our guess is too high, we're gonna print how many th their guess was too high. If it was too low, we're gonna print if it's too low. If it was right on the spot, Print congrats, you guessed the correct number and won the game, win equals true. Oh, and something else I've got to do here. We want to write guesses equals zero because this is going to give us a way to leave the loop. Because if guesses were still, let's say five, let's say you got it smack on the first go, 
we would go back through the loop and it would keep asking us even after we've won. So that's why you want to set guesses equals zero. So it's a way to exit the loop and guesses minus equals one in this case. So if win equals false, that should indeed be if, if win equals equals false. I made a quick syntax error there. Print, sorry, didn't guess the number. The number was comma and then it will print out the number for you. All right, let's give this a quick run. I believe my Python shell will probably, oh, I didn't press F5. Yep, okay, so I'm fine with that. All right, uh, wait, my Python shell has been having a little bit of problems when I'm recording. Okay, let's guess, 50. Your guess was too high. I have six remaining. All right, now we've already found a glitch in our program. We need to put guesses minus equals one at the top because it's saying we have six remaining when we actually have five. The, we un the program understands we have five, but it's saying six. So we gotta put that up the front when next run. Okay, so my guess was too high. So let's do 36. My guess was too low. Okay, instead of writing low, I write U. Okay, so we've debugged another thing. Okay, 40, You get my guess was too low. 45, too low. 47, too low. 48, no! Okay, so pretty much, I unfortunately did not guess the number in this case. I got to one off, I got to 48. The number was that was randomly generated was 45, 49, sorry. We've once again found two other things we messed up. So this should be up the top. Here we are. And the reason it has to be that because graph because for like I guess sort of graphically I guess you could say, it says to the user they have one more than they actually have. And also we write something silly there. You guys must have been like watching me be like, your guess was to you and be like, what what's he doing? That should be low. Alright, let's test this one more time. Come on, Python shell. You can be cool. Alright, there you go. Guess 50. My guess was too high once again. Let's guess 40. Too high. 30. Too high. 20. Too high. 15. Too high. 10. Too high. <sighs> once again, I didn't guess the number. The number was 8. Well, I guess that's okay. We didn't guess the number again. But that's alright. As you can see, the program works 100% smoothly. That's exactly how I want it to go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I guess we'll try and get a win before we leave. Um, come on. Let's get a win here. Okay, we'll start off guessing with 50. Guess was too low. I have 5. Guess too many. 5. Too high. 57. Too low. Okay. 62. My guess was too high. I'm feeling 59. Too low. Okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling 61. Yes, okay, we won the game. Fantastic. All right, so that just shows you that after a while, we did make sure the game worked perfectly right. So that looks epic, and I'm super glad that worked out. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I have a challenge post for you. Make it so the user can say, make sure to ask the user, would you like to play again? And see if the user wants to play the game again. I recommend using functions for this task, and that's just a quick heads up. Functions would probably work very well and make the task a lot easier if you wanted to ask them to whether they want to play again or not. Anyway, hope you did enjoy that Python project. I'm so glad to get this, this series fired up once again. I'm super excited about this. Thank you so much for watching this video, and have a super fantastic day.